Well, just the most beautiful light today. So clear. So that's looking across, you can see the Seven Bridge in the distance there. Can't always see that, often can't see that. <laughs> see the moon today. And yeah, so I'm just sharing some poems in this light. So I'm going to do this one, I think, therefore I am. Religions are a way of thinking. We are what we think. I think, therefore I am. If we do not think, what are we? I think a holiday is a holy day. A whole day free from enslavement. For cultivating the whole spirit of joy. I think, what are we without love, without positivity? Do we positively die? And if so, then what do we become? And Genesis 2.17 says, do not positively die. And that's what's happened to Adam and Eve and what uh, has been handed down to us through that sinful inclination. And we need to learn that it's the, the things that are classed as sin that take away from love. They cause stress in the body. And whether that's a coercively controlling partner, person in our lives or society, whether it's jealousy, whether it's laziness, or whether it's an abuse, a betrayal, a lie. Because we are love. And God is love and wants us to become like him. And love is not a cortisol stress hormone. And so I share concepts of this through my book, Verusia. Love's light for a healing, for understanding how love is not a cortisol stress hormone, and how the many confusions that are in this world lead us into stress and disconnection rather than love and connection with the love and the light for an enlightenment of love anointed, who is Jesus Christ who is returning. This is the meaning of his name. And it's for all people, all faiths. Well, all people with faith, because faith is an assured expectation of the things hoped for. So I certainly hope for heaven on earth, and certainly there's a little bit of heaven on earth going on here, <laughs> everywhere. Well, God bless, hallelujah. The light is returning. Oh. <laughs> Heh <laughs>